what went wrong with the iOS 8? They said that iOS 8 would be compatible with 4S, which definitely isn't. I'm already regretting the, the update. Okay. That's made the phone really slow. iOS 8's upgrade was disappointing. Uh, its focus has been on health. And if you own a 4S especially, uh, it's of no use because you know, the iWatch will not be compatible. Connectivity issues and battery drains out and all of that, and, yeah. And then there's no barometer in your 4S. You can't basically uh, use a lot of the features that it has right. to offer. Hmm. The second is that it's had a lot of bugs. Uh, they took out patch one and patch two back to back. And what was going wrong was that uh, call failures were taking place. Along with that, the touch ID stopped working for some people. Hmm. So this is... Uh, actually not expected from them. It was a bit of a shock for me also that not enough testing has been done before these updates have been rolled out. Hmm. And uh, I'll say it's a good move that they have pulled out the updates before other people, you know, start getting affected by these. Hmm. Because it's not easy to roll back an update in an Apple phone. Once you have iOS 8, it's not very, it's not very easy to go back to iOS 7. Ouch. So yeah, yeah. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure Apple is a big a company big enough to realize these mistakes and get a work on them. Right. And I think pretty soon we'll see a new update.